The topic that I have researched is congenital lobar emphysema. This is a chronic disease of the lungs that is caused by a malformation of some sort. Um, it is characterized by hyperinflation of the lobe or lobes resulting in trapped air. Um, there is approximately one third of cases that are symptomatic at birth but most are diagnosed within the first six months of life. There are three types from what I read, the first being diagnosed um, prenatal or within the first year of life. The second is being diagnosed in childhood, and then the third being diagnosed in adulthood. Um, they don't see very many cases being diagnosed in childhood and adulthood, but it is possible. Um, the left upper lobe is most commonly affected. In the research that I have done on this type of emphysema, it got a little complicated in knowing um, the exact cause. In one fourth of the cases, bronchial cartilage not being present or having defects was the cause. They also had pulmonary hypoplasia or dysplasia. With the bronchial cartilage um, being damaged or absent, that makes the bronchial wall weak, causing the bronchioles to collapse whenever the patient exhales. That is what causes the air to become trapped in the lungs and the overexpansion of the lungs. Um, the other 25% are due to internal obstructions such as mucus or I also read meconium during labor or external obstructions such as a cyst or a mediastinal mass have been known to cause obstructions. Um, in 50% of the cases, they're idiopathic, meaning that they have no idea what has caused it in certain cases. Um, they have linked some cases um, to genetics. It affects boys more often than it affects girls. And again, most cases are diagnosed by six months of age. Some manifestations are retractions, wheezing, cyanosis, difficulty feeding, chronic cough, recurrent respiratory tract infections, and some may show no symptoms at all. Hyperresonance on percussion, diminished lung sounds, a cardiac murmur, Various cardiac defects may be present in between 14 to 20 percent of cases, and they oftentimes have perfusion insufficiencies. They can diagnose this prenatally using an ultrasound or an MRI. They can also diagnose it using x ray, CT of the lungs. The use of uh, bronchoscopy in infants is very controversial, but it can be used in adults, and it is most often used in adults. Um, they also can perform lung function tests, and at the same time, this doesn't necessarily go hand in hand with um, emphysema necessarily, but they will also do an echo to check for any cardiac um, problems that may accompany the emphysema. The type of treatment often depends on the severity of the person, so it goes case by case. In the most severe cases, they resect the lobe or the whole lung that is affected. Um, they may require gentle ventilation due to the possible shift toward, of the lung towards the mediastinum, it might compress um, 
the vasculature, put too much pressure on the heart, and cause a whole plethora of problems. They may at some point um, require supplemental oxygen and in management might need to use bronchodilators. What I have read is that most of the pulmonary issues tend to um, get better by the time the patient turns one. That is not always the case, thus that would bring in the supplemental oxygen and the bronchodilators and possibly I've even seen some discussion of using steroids as well. Overall, the prognosis is pretty good for these patients. Um, in cases where surgical interventions have been taken, such as having a lobectomy, they have seen very good outcomes. In the asymptomatic cases, they may also regress, which may cause them to have to have a lobectomy as well. A nursing diagnosis for these patients could be impaired gas exchange related to altered oxygen supply, which would be the air trapping. Some nursing interventions to consider are assessing respiratory rate and depth, auscultating the lung sounds, monitoring for cyanosis and skin color changes, monitor their level of consciousness, monitor ABGs and oxygen saturation, apply supplemental oxygen as needed, and when they get a little bit older, um, allow periods of rest with activities, avoid irritating chemicals that might cause them to have more troubles breathing.